Divorces. Uh, shockingly, you might not be aware, but some divorces don't go well. They just don't go well. So when they don't go well, and later we find in the, the, the title that the property is still owned by husband and wife, even though they've been divorced, right. the person who may have been awarded the property in the divorce comes to us saying, no, wait a minute, I already have that property, and then we have to explain, we need to get a deed from your ex-spouse which can be a little challenging because we have no idea what they may have been fighting about over the last couple years. Right. So if they've been fighting about the orange spatula for a while and now all of a sudden I've got to get a deed from them, it doesn't always go well. No, exactly. And typically communication isn't what it was, right, when they right. got married. So. It's sometimes we run into what we call extortion payments, right, right. where the, others, the ex-spouse <laughs> is required to sign the deed over to the other spouse and the judgment of divorce says you have right. to do this, but they won't because they use it as some t point of leverage. So, so you bring up a good point. When are you divorced? Okay, You're divorced only when the judge has signed off on the judgment of divorce. So, Almost divorced isn't divorced. Right, so I'm separated, you're still married. I haven't seen that blankety blank in five years, probably still married, okay? Right. But it's not until that judgment's been signed. And then we're looking for a couple things in that judgment, right? We're, right. Looking, go we're looking for a judgment lien. So we're looking right. for something in the judgment that says that maybe the ex-wife gets the property, but the ex-husband is still owed $10,000, and that $10,000 is a lien on the property. So that's one thing that we're looking for. And what if there was one on there? If there was one, we're going to require that that lien get paid at the closing from the proceeds of the sale of the house. Or get a discharge, right, if it has been paid. Right. Yep. And the one of the challenges is when they set that amount, it may have been a few years ago, the property may have been worth more money, and now all of a sudden right. there was supposed right. to be equity and there isn't. Well, that $10,000 lien still has to get paid exactly. unless the other spouse agrees that it doesn't have to get paid. Yep. And then ownership. Did ownership really transfer? Because a lot of times the divorce decree says the wife will end up with the property, for example, but there's no follow-up deed post-divorce to clear it up in the chain of title. I know it drives us and other agents nuts and lenders, but that's the other thing that we run into all the time is we have to get a deed or talk about filing the judgment of divorce in lieu of a deed. So sometimes an attorney will include a provision in the judgment of divorce that says if one of the parties doesn't cooperate, you can record the judgment of divorce in place of the deed, right. which a lot of people obviously don't like to do because it's got a lot of other things in it, so they don't want yep. that necessarily part of the property records. Yes. So another thing to get way ahead of in a transaction is if there's a divorce, get the documentation to the parties or let's examine them and let's work through those issues as much as we can in advance. Exactly. exactly.